Hey everybody, I'm Spectral Star, and welcome back to the Stygian Tales Reign of the Old Ones. Which is, it's not called Stygian Tales, but it's called Stygian. But, you know, the, the, the loading screens are like comic books. And they're awesome. Let's just be frank here. Okay, so we could go back into the Marsh's uh, warehouse, but I think... I honestly think that we've already got the radio parts. Radio transmitter. I could have swore we already got that. Well, anyways, let's just go ahead and go back. Wait a second. We were in the right spot all along. My bad. My bad. Gosh, Bob. I leave myself in here thinking, okay, why am I in here? And then I remember. Yeah. So I have the methyl alcohol. You do. That's surprising, but I'm not going to question your methods, my friend. We all have our own ways of getting what we need, isn't that right? If I recall correctly, what you really need is formaldehyde, yes? Hmm, I think I can arrange that. Can you make it in your laboratory? I possess the required knowledge, but you have the privilege of utilizing my services. This is yet to be decided. Uh, okay. Well, uh, what do you want in return? All I ask of you is a small favor. One of my boys, Thomas, requires a good old-fashioned slap upside the head. Since I'm too much, too old for the, such vulgar behavior, could you please do it for me? The fledgling needs to be taught there are consequences for the, his rather abnormal behavior. Uh, why don't you get your brutes to punish him? They tend to go a bit overboard with requests such as these. If you get my meaning... All right, Richter shouts in the direction of the shop's interest. Thomas, come here, my child. Oh, God. A feeble and scruffy-looking boy enters the shop and approaches Richter's desk. Yes, Uncle Richter? Would you please turn your face to the, that gentleman, my dear lad? Yes, Uncle Richter. Boy turns and stares at you with big brown eyes. Slap the boy. After, cr after taking the crack of your hand, Thomas looks at you in confusion and remains silent <laughs> thank you Thomas you can go now my darling child leaves the shop with your crimson gift bright on his face I feel bad about that but he'll get over it this will teach him a lesson his thin smile is plainly visible now with all its unpleasant associations by the way don't hit kids just don't put them in the corner take the toys away take the phone away oh god that destroys him what did he do Nothing. He answers calmly. Oh, for the love of God. He is simply the most docile of my errand boys. He is delicately examining your face like a rattlesnake studying a fat rodent which has entered its lair. <sighs> then why? Do you think this is a world where, you're good, where the good are rewarded? We sometimes have to vaccinate the good ones with the random nature of pain, don't you agree? A weak justification, Richter. You take pleasure from all this, don't you? The old man smiles wide enough to show his artificial teeth. For a moment, he looks like an old, vulturous beast in a, in the gloomy gaslight. Can I have my formaldehyde now? Richter finally takes the methyl alcohol bottle from your hands. My science serves the needs of men once more. He smiles like a serpent while giving you a glass container full of liquid green liquid lurid green liquid i wish you the best to you and your fete other thing so you're stuck i just want to see can i sell some stuff i can right, we got the formaldehyde all right so All this stuff can probably be crafted with, so I don't really want to sell it just yet. Who knows? Alright, let's go. Let's take a look at our journal. I hate that I slapped that kid, and especially since it was for no reason at all. Back in these days, you know, you could, you did this kind of stuff. Oh my god, did I level up. Holy Christmas. I level up. Woohoo! Alright. 
dodge attacks and perform athletic maneuvers. There's the skill of operating all kinds of firearms, from pistols to machine guns and everything in between. Alright, so, I'd like to get another speechcraft. I don't think we're going to be stealthy. I don't know. I feel kind of bad for not putting points into stealth. Uh, it could be good, though. Let's go ahead and put another in stealth. And we'll try to use stealth. Job brawler. What else have we got? Snapshot. What was snapshot? Master pistol attack. Oh, yeah. This one to melee attack. Yeah. Dodger 2. Be handy. Hagler would be nice. of the totem. Proved health gain. That could be good. Shadow. Wearing a mask increases stealth value by one point. Sniper. Plus three range critical success. Chance. Uh... I'm gonna go with Hagler. Yeah. Confame. Alright, now for you, sir. Colts. Pretty nice already. Mm. Melee. And medicine. I think we ought to keep ourselves all around, you know? Increases melee attack, minimum health. Or minimum and maximum melee damage by one and lowers maximum sanity by three. Wrath of Isolation. No, I'm not good with that. I think we need to be a little careful with that. R of Repulsion. Outsider is less likely to be engaged by enemies. Decreases aggression. This is the previous perk. Increases spellcraft minimum and maximum. Spell damage by two and lowers maximum health by six. What's his health at anyway? Um, I don't like that lowering health by six. You know what? We'll do it. We'll add it. Bam. Too late. Mysterious Dodge 2. Plus two to physical defense. Trick shot two. So when you deceivingly fires a pistol shot at her opponent for higher damage, reducing the reaction value. The reaction value is available at optimal range. Mysterious dodge two. Plus two to physical defense. It doesn't seem like she gets in any kind of. Uh, she never gets hit. It's weird. Okay, so firearms. Uh, investigation. I think it'd be good. Go ahead and bump those up. You know, she's going to be our investigator type character. And it's nice that we started off with a level up. But Lucy, I need you to be stronger. I, I agree. We need to be stronger anyway. All right. So now we have the formaldehyde. Could go look for the radio parts. I could have swore I already bought the radio parts. Uh, I looked in my inventory and I didn't see them. Could have swore I bought them, though. It was just a conductor I bought. And we may have to go in and finish that Lucy mission anyway. It's not looking too good. Then we'll probably uh, go sell some stuff in between episodes, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, we've got to... Uh, Stanley Fredkin. Yeah. I think his house was in this district? I don't remember. I'm sure he's there, though. Could have been the other way. <laughs> I think it was the other way. Yeah, whatever. 
Maybe we'll see some creepy, new, frightening shit going on down here. You never know. Okay, yeah, I believe this was his house. Oh, my shit. That's not good. It's cool that we have a hat now. We kind of look like our character. Okay, let's go in here and give him... I'm going to moonwalk in. Might as well. I am wearing the fedora. Uh, seems you solved the situation with the rustic looking man. Oh yes, yes. It was a minor issue that you needed to be troubled with. He serves me just fine. Inside his rather constricted boundaries, of course. Okay. Those components you were... I, uh, what were those components you required? I need three essential components to complete my work. A long wave radio transmitter, an electrical conductor, and some formaldehyde. These items are the last things standing between us and infinity. You'll be on your own to locate these necessary components. You can start with Richter at the drugstore. Blah, blah, blah. I have some questions. Uh, what are all these machines? I thought your interest was folklore. Knowledge takes many shapes, my friend. You will learn many things that when we are on our way to the stars. How are you planning on leaving Arkham? I prefer not to bore you with the scientific data. Connections allowed me to discover ways outside the borders of our limited science. If you knew what they've taught me about our universe. I think I've already read this stuff. Okay, well, we don't have the radio transmitter, so we've got to go back into the marsh uh, warehouse. Which is just fine by me, even though I'm a tad bit scared to go in there. Because it's a tough ass place. Now, one thing I also need to check. Oh, wait, what's going on here? What about character? Am I good? bunch of angst. Just not good. You know, paranoid. Okay, so... Could have swore I bought the radio transmitter from that guy over there, but whatever. You know, we'll get it the hard way. I like the hard way. Pretty sure I don't have any camping supplies. Do I? I think this is where camping supplies would go. But we do have a new 38 weapon. Um, a lot of other things. So, I mean, maybe it's doable. Maybe. I don't know, but we're about to get some fighting action going on here. It's time to fight. Man, the outsider can go as fast as he wants sometimes, I swear. Okay, so. More rations. Check the containers again. It hasn't been long enough. We don't have any crafting abilities, so... It's kind of sad, you know? Let's go on through here again. I guess we'll have to search uh, more south. Not sure if that's a good idea. Wait, wait, wait. We need the lantern. Checked all this stuff. The entrails, damn it. They're everywhere. Okay, so I guess we go into the next room. I don't have anywhere else to go. Creepy. <laughs> Creepy little warehouse, though, isn't it? Oh, oh my god. Everyone gets a hat today, I reckon. Um, does it even matter? I 
I mean... <laughs> we got a lot of hats. He doesn't get a hat. Let's put a bunch of different hats on him. Remember this one on him? Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. I kind of like that one, but... I'm going to stick with the stylish fedora. That's hilarious. We get so many hats, man. We found a shitload of... Oh, my God. We're just going to be able to change our looks. Oh. Can be worn by female characters. Turtleneck and leather jacket, huh? What about you? We can wear that. I don't like it, though. Now we can wear this. <laughs> or that. You know what? Screw it. We're going to do this for a while. <laughs> What is up with the clothes in this place? Oh shit, that's not good. Nowhere else to go. And it looks like we're going down. We got enough kerosene for this little adventure. Ah, oh, here we go. Here comes the pain. Yep. Struggle begins. The struggle. The struggler struggle. This artwork. Look at the mass, the blob. And we're hard. Sanity can't get much better than this, I tell you. Alright, come on, bring it, you bitches. We'll just hide behind crates. Uh, focus up. Focus up. a little bit more. Focus two. Gotta let them get a little closer, you know. Let's see. Where's the turn order going? Of course. People cool bitch. Coming in. Okay, just hiding. Figures. Okay, so. I guess we cannot. We're just gonna focus them. Who gets her shot from over here? I don't know, but I think we ought to wait. Yeah, hell yeah. Good damage. Good damage. Holy crap. Okay, you just wait there, sir. We've gotta avenge your shit before you die, so. An Avenger dead horse. Is. My character bleeding now. Figures. Okay. Getting their turns in. Ow. And a duck and cover. Graze, really, from that close? Oh, that's irritating. I love how you can check their health like this. It's pretty neat. They're getting closer. hurt us a little bit. We need to stop doing damage like that, in a way. Can I smack him? No. Let's defend. Okay. 
This is looking bad. Good, we got us a miss. That's fucking nice. Okay, so. He's dead. Good, 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 good. I guess we, uh, defend. Okay. I'm down. Don't attack the outsider. He's in bad shape. Okay. Alright. Uh, shoot this guy. Please don't hit our main man there. On the graze. That's the kind of damage I'm looking for. Not that, but okay. At least kill this one guy, please. Please put him down, Sonya. Uh, wrong one, but okay. A little bit tricky sometimes, the, uh, Reload. That's it. Focus up. Ooh, that was close. Thing he missed. We're doing good. I mean, honestly, I thought it was gonna be way worse. Oh shit! Hit this guy, man. Good, 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 good. You don't focus up. Get you over here. So you can start swapping this douche. That was a rear attack. Good, nice. Focus. Paranoia. No! Don't shoot anybody. Okay. He didn't shoot anybody. Ooh. We need to start doing that a lot more. Back attack stuff. some decent solid damage. Uh, hit marker please. There we go. Um, so we're gonna start beating the club in this guy to death. You wanna go clubbing? Huh? You wanna go clubbing, huh? Huh? Okay, focus up. Get that extra damage. He's bleeding. Oh god. Okay, that's not cool. That messes with you. Need to get the, the outsider out of there. Oh my god, he's gonna eat his buddy too. Okay. Um... I honestly think you should get out of here, but let's see. And I forgot we don't have any injection stuff, or do we? Oh, we do have laudanum. we can kill this guy. I mean, they got bloodlust, but we're using 38 rounds here. Okay. Cool. Alright, defend. Okay. It's gonna hurt. Ow! Holy Christmas! Stop grazing and hitting. That's a little better. Kill the 
these guys, man. They're tough. Be a good idea to defend. Good shot, definitely a good shot. There we go. Another good focus. Hmm. He's bleeding to death. Damn. Uh, I think if we did this... Five action points and ten. Okay. I think this will be fine. He won't die. Hopefully. route is now open. Oh, oh shit, I missed my chance there. Club him. Oh, don't graze, come on. He's gonna bleed to death. Oh, thank God. Maybe we can stop him before he bleeds to death. out use use okay my god uh, copperhead whiskey what should I use here Reggie's whiskey copperhead would be better though wouldn't it 8 to 10 Okay, now I don't know about the other guy though. He's he's in deep dookies. My sanity's in deep dookies. Oh wait, maybe we could use a bandage on a. Just pick up. Kingsport folk tales. Read them. Ah, oh, cool. Oh wow. Uh, we can read these later. That's cool. Like if I read them, uh, okay. So I can read these to you later. That's great. Uh, okay. Well, we need a bandage. Use it on my good friend here. It stops his bleeding. It's very necessary at this point. Very necessary, my good man. Very. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and use this on him too. Let me back up snuff. You know. there's no more ghouls in here. I bet there's another battle in here somewhere. What if we could use uh, stealth? How do we go into stealth mode? So now I realize that my camera's off. Uh, I'll be right back. This is like the fourth episode or the fifth episode or something, and I've done this. Wow. Be right back. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's get back into it. I still can't go stealth. I guess it's because I'm using the lantern. Got to be something in here. We're running out of kerosene. We're gonna have to leave. What else do 
else to do, man. We're just gonna have to go, because... It's too ridiculous in here. It's a little bit too ridiculous. I mean, we can check a bit more, but... Oh, boy. That's not good. There's a kerosene tank. Empty kerosene canisters. <laughs> Damn it. Um... Yeah. We're gonna lose sanity if we stick around in this place without kerosene. Let's go. Can't see shit. And plus we'll get killed. Super killed. Wish we had some more kerosene. Wonder where we can fill that up at. This is no good. It just keeps getting darker and darker. My sanity does not like this. Not one bit. Not one bit. So we're going to have to go back. And I believe we've cleaned the place out pretty good. Uh, so far. Look my angst is doing... God, that's not good at all. Need to be able to run from some battles, but I don't know, man. Like, running from these monsters. I don't guess it matters. We'll find out if it does sooner or later. We need to get some sleep, get some kerosene. So I'm guessing we're going to have to sell some stuff. Uh, time to head to the, the pawn shop, yeah. Pawn shop time. Pawn shop's down this way, so. Oh, uh. That way. Okay. We can move faster now. Let's go. I don't know why I'm wearing this brown suit. I just think it's. I think it's a little. It's different. You know, just putting on something different. I don't think it matters what suit you wear, but it is cool that you get these customization options. I really do dig that. Yeah, no, you won't go in there. I know. Okay, I like to trade. Let's sell some stuff that he's going to appreciate. Unfortunate gold ring. Beautiful gold ring engraved with intertwining motifs and crowned with an oversized precious stone. Now, a lot of things like this matter in this world. We can read sleazy magazines if we wanted to. That's a good deal, though. Give me some of them six. Alright, so now... We need... What is that? 25 Redeemer. Nice. It'd be nice to have some rifles, but we could sell some of these clothes. Man, I think I need to put that other stuff back on. It's kind of ridiculous. All this club. Metal and wood, sell that. I mean, we can make parts out of this stuff. But I need money. Like, badly. He's got a ton of it, too, so... There we go. Now we're rolling in the dough. Let's get some kind of, uh... We don't have, uh... No, we don't. Just have more crafting parts. What is all this stuff? Professional hunter's vest, have a detective's coat, resilient leather or safari jacket. These are cool clothes. Seasoned frock. Wow. Coat and cloak. It's nice stuff. Pearly ladies tuxedo. Okay, cool. Uh, now where are are you serious? 
be thrown onto a ledge to provide a climbing opportunity. <laughs> Are you serious? I had no idea there was so much cool stuff in, in all this. We're... I need camping stuff, though. There's a Molotov. There we go. Camping supplies. We're eight cigs. I mean... We're gonna need it eventually, right? So let's just go. Alright, cool. Camping supplies. Now we can go camp outside in the cold and damp where the tentacles are and they'll fuck us right up. I'm sorry. I'll try not to have another outburst like that again. I won't make any promises, though. Now we can get some sleep. Regain some sanity. Yeah. Get our, uh, get our bags. What's going on here? Hopefully no more, uh, stupid, uh, crazy, uh, vibrations will happen. This one, damage resistance, sanity, sounds good. Let's do some occult research. Well, we could do medical research. Easier progression escape. Okay. We could uh, try to learn some healing. I'm guessing. This formaldehyde would be good knowledge to have, so let's do that. I guess we'll do some scouting. You. Reconnaissance, please. Wrist! Read some of those Stygian tales later. For y'all. Oh my shit, what the hell? Uh. Okie dokie, why? Mild exhaustion? I would assume so. <clears throat> the outlandishly illogical manifestations of these spellbinding structures cluster the backdrop of this undefinable abstract vision. There's an aspect of impossibility to everything you see. Oh, no. oh shit. The prodigious head-shaped object which towers toward the horizons of this architectural impossibility speaks with a sharp-tongued voice whose timber and volume is more akin to a thunder than a human. We know why you've come, Mundane. After all, aren't dreams the most pristine mirrors of one's desires? Forget this not. It's not us who holds her captive here. It is. It was her fears and desires which did. Oh wait, I'm having the dream because of the tea. No dreamer shall leave the Larion without confronting them. Find the reasons that imprisoned her in this garden of notions and made her assume the identity which she calls the Dreaming Baroness, so she may know them. You must ascertain the three things that affected her most deeply in the order which they manifested from past to present. How would I know such private things? The being falls silent. Shit. Um, he doesn't want to talk. Well, I'm going to talk to the thing with boobs first. Statue addresses you with tender voice that is, that is as smooth as velvet. I'm the desire to remain young for all eternity. Statue dresses you with voluptuous whisper. I'm the desire of bearing progeny and reaching out to the new generations. I don't fucking remember this shit. Um. Uh, well, okay. Oh shit. Well that's cool, we've got some enemies. 
I have nothing in here. Oh, wait. Change the state, which this keepsake was in when you last saw it. Now morphs into different compositions with each time you cast a glimpse into its miniature world. Touch it. What were you looking at just now? The woman asked. The lust of but a moment ago was cooling for a serene interim, for which the fatigue of her body was responsible. Nothing, the young man replied, diverting his gaze to the window where clouds of snowflakes gently descended from a gray sky. The woman knew where he had been looking. His eyes had been fixed on the sagging flesh beneath her chin, the undeniable evidence of her advancing years. However much time or expense she spent on grooming or clothes, time fulfilled its duties without discrimination or mercy. A fierce desire to, refute, to reverse this fate rose within her. Wouldn't everything be perfect if only we could remain young forever? Okay. Okay, okay, cool. Alright, so. Yes. Statue addresses you with the tender voice of the desire to remain young for all eternity. You are one of the reasons which made her the Dreaming Baroness. Did I do it? Was I right? Was that fucking right or what? Or was it not? Greedy voice that's armed with ambition and the desire of obtaining money, fortune, and power. Walk away from the statue. If I don't get this right... Statue addresses you with a voice full of wonder and fervor. I'm the desire to discover and of setting sail to new experiences. Okay. Money. Exploration. Statue addresses you with a misty voice that is drowned in yearning. I'm the desire to seek true love at the risk of wasting my life away. And this one. Statue addresses you with a voice that's aged with wisdom but otherwise fraught with fear. I'm the apprehension of losing all that's learned and experienced. <sighs> Touch it again. Uh, that's not it. desire to seek true love at the risk of wasting my life away. You are one of the reasons which made her the Dreaming Baroness. I don't think I'm right. There goes my sanity while I'm dead, aren't I? I mean, that's all my sanity. Mouth of Madness. The character is on the verge of insanity and will be Burdened with continuous angst accumulation until the state is over. Well, my angst is at like a hundred. And now I'm hungry, but I'm asleep. What? Okay, wonderful. This is what angst does. The loss and departure of companions and henchmen causes sanity loss. In such a case... Madness check value increased by 20%. Additionally, dialogue choices that result in a disfavor causes sanity loss. Clumsy. No. Dependent. All addiction thresholds of the character decreases. Depressive. All future experience point accumulation suffers a negative 25% penalty. No. No. At the absence of experienced gain and journal entries for a certain length of time, sanity loss occurs. What? Fearful. The loss of sanity caused by horror checks increase. No. Hysterical. Voice of madness. Mania becomes active. If the character is afflicted with mania, the negative effects are more likely to emerge. No. Nervous. Panic threshold increases by 20%. Rampageous. 
abstain from combat for a certain time period causes sanity loss. No. Impulsive. Dialogue with companions suffer a drawback. Automatic disfavor and a negative two sex appeal penalty. Okay, you know what? We're going with distracted. Wonderful. And we're hungry. Touch it again. Remain young forever. Uh, yeah, the map. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, poopy sticks. Uh, Sure. Oh my god. Of course that worked. Of course it did. I kind of want to get killed though. Let's see what happens when we die. What? No, stop. I'll go to this one. Thank you. There we go. So that one, this one, horror witnessed. Are we not dead yet? Okay, you know what? Load game. <laughs> okay, wow. Tell you what, I'll load back to that state if I don't get this right, like eventually. So, let's try this one. There we go, it's all three of them. We did it. So, the boat, the boobs, and the book. And then we get this crazy, creepy thing. I don't know what the snow globe's for. But it was wrong. <laughs> Am I still insane? Poor sanity after some rest gained one sanity and one temporary damage resistance through exercise. You have visited strange places in your dream. Gained three sanity after some rest. Uh, made a discovery in medical research formula specimen jar. Okay. This is strange places. Health or sanity restored. This character's already in a state of well-being. Yeah, she's doing great. When you wake up, you realize that you don't remember much of the this feverish dream. You only remember that you can trace in your mind. In your mind are the following words that seem like they belong to a forgotten song. How can you reach your destination if you don't know why you took the journey? Thank you, traveler. Yeah, I know, that's great and all, but I am about to fucking die. And what about food? Why, why don't I eat? Why don't I eat? Where's my rations? I'm starving. It's not good. We need to sleep again, man. Good thing I bought four of these. Gotta get his sanity up, dude. It's crazy. So, now that we've talked to the Baroness of Dreams, or whatever her name was... What else can we do, Scout? Nah. Um, more occult research, or more research, period. Hey, let's try general medical research. Sure. She's good to go, so... Sanity of four health after some rest. And we learned a plan. Laudanum shot, yes. Good. So. And we still haven't fixed our health issue. So what do I do? Just. Nothing. Rating low. 
No telling what the addiction rating is for on that other one. So, chemical solvent. We can, at least now, Mammoth Cave Whiskey. Addiction rating low. He needs more sanity, so... Drinking that. I hope we don't get addicted. I'm intoxicated, but not addicted. Okay, so now, let's head back to you know where. Let's see. We could use some more laudanum shots, but... Oh, wait, 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 the kerosene. Fuck, I almost forgot the most important aspect of our journey here. Kerosene. We need that in order to get through this bullshit. Okay, kerosene. Let me hover over. Let me hover over. Come on, baby. There we go. Starts off fast, goes slow. These these episodes are really uh really like up in the air about what's going to happen next. Honestly. You never really know. I kinda like that though. For me personally. I like the trade. Uh where are your kerosenes, my good man? Need your kerosene, sir. Anybody sell kerosene around here? Is it that rare? Really? Alright, fine. Eh. You should have kerosene, you son of a bee. Okay, what about the uh, the junk salesman? Maybe he's got kerosene canisters. Let's go see him. Uncle Ratsack has everything you need. Well, you better, Uncle Ratsack. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need everything you got. Man gotta protect himself. Yeah, I bet he does. Um, see what you got. Well, he has laudanum. Pretty handy. For real. Come on, dude. Tell me you have kerosene. Please. Please. Tell me of your kerosene-age. Well, why didn't it show up? That is weird. That it did not show up. Well, anyways. fully stocked on kerosene I bet there's more kerosene in the pawn shop now we got this didn't get attention for some time what oh yeah by the way let me check that sanity is dropping like a rock I don't even know if I should even go into this place with my sanity like this, but we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. Oh, let me check my angst levels. That might be something that's bothering us. It's more out of 200. Now, oh, whatever. You didn't get attention. <laughs> I don't know if I should feel sad or not. I'm gonna go back to this setup simply because I feel like maybe it'll help us out a little bit more. So we can craft now formulas. Laudanum shot. We need medicinal herbs, raw opium. Okay, so now we can craft stuff. That is absolutely awesome now let's head to our debts back into the marsh warehouse okay let's just 
not use the, the thing until we get deeper in. Because, you know. Wait, wait, let me, let me try that uh, crafting bench. Maybe it'll do something, give us a bonus. Okay, so we can craft stuff. What is a specimen jar? A vacuum sealed glass container made for the preservation of organic material. The amount of height is necessary to this process. If equipped, doubles the rate of unlocking new bestiary hints. Okay, cool, cool. Kind of useless in a way. I mean, unless you want to look at the art and read about the monsters, which is super useful in the entertainment value area. Ooh. Uh, should we check and see if anything's respawned? I think we're good. Just gonna get darker and darker. So that dream was freaky. Okay, so. Let's equip the old lantern. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Let's continue checking this area out. As terrifying as it is. Okay, well, we've reached the bottom. Sort of. I mean, this is the same area we were in. So I guess now we go through here. Next area. Uh, okay. Walk backwards through the door. Not the best idea. We're going to do that. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is the monster who leads them. For Lucy! Oh, no, don't die, dumbass. You idiot! I guess it's time to drink more whiskey, isn't it? that we came here. Wonderful! Now I have an addiction. Now I'm a drunk. Great. Firewood, salt, whetstone. Take off. Right, let's check the corpse of our f dead friend. We could just fight somebody. Now I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Which, honestly, after seeing something like that, why not? I wonder if there's a way we could take care of that. Probably not. But whatever. And I'm hungry. So there he is. There's that dickhead. Wow. He's got like 800 freaking things he can do. focus up, I guess. We're gonna have to use our magic out the wazoo here. Which we will. We're getting close enough, so why not, right? Am I right? Am I right? She performs a ritual to create a protective circle around herself, inflicting a portion of her own health in the process. Caster's blood must be spilled. Evil eyes, sickly gaze, caster's enemy who suffers reduced combat capabilities and increased chance of critical failures. Actually might be helpful. Put it on this guy. Cause he's probably super stretch. Cool. There. 
There we go. Nice. And now, let's do even more. Well, actually, I don't think we can. Yeah, we can. Okay, so... Uh-oh. So we panicked. Terrorized. Great. Wonderful. Where's my gun? Yeah. Where's, where's my damn gun? Why do I not have a gun? Is this the 38? Yeah, it is. Oh, great. This is just great. Yay. So I guess uh, you better start defending. Oh, wait, you can't. That's a no good. Critical. Good shit. That is, that was lucky. Okay, so, now, I think, no, we defended, so, let's go ahead and use some magic. On this guy. Hey, douchebag. Hello, Kazam, mother trucker. That's good. That's real good. All right, let's defend. Okay, now you. Can we uh, put your gun back on? Is there any way? Thank God. Okay. Now let's defend. <laughs> That's all we got. Yes. Good. Ow. Okay. Look at this guy's photo up here. It's his turn, graze, and a miss. There was a good hit. Shoot this fool. Doing real good. Okay. Take care of one of these guys. We got a gr oh come on. Come on now. This ain't looking good. It's just not looking good at all. Well there we go, there's that. Defend. Oh, no. At least he's missing. A lot. And a graze. And a miss. Paranoia. You know what? Should we focus up this time? Focus up this time. This is not looking good. Then again, it's not looking extremely bad. Now it is. We're deft and we're dodging really good. I'm gonna kill the big boss, but it's not looking good. Yeah, there we go, good damage. Can we kill this guy? 
Okay, guess not. Okay, so every one of the monsters goes first, just about. Keep, honestly, keep attacking up here. Don't attack so much down here. That is not good. Just die. <sighs> uh. Let's just run away up here. She's the new focus. Kind of sucks, but it's what had to happen. And now, shoot this guy. Or graze him. Whatever. Focus up. Oh, this is looking rough. I don't even know what else to say. Holy crap, flesh devourers are flat. Cars rolling flat for four damage. The status effects going on. Now they're all bloodlusty. Get harder. Ooh, she got hit pretty hard. Okay, so now let's use these spells. Now that we're back here, Alakazar. <laughs> Focus. My character's a tank. He really needs to dodge more, though. Finally, we killed one. Holy crap, are you kidding me? You're joking. Character's dead. Alright, so. You perished, so did the outsider. Okay, so I don't believe we're ready for that yet. Um, don't exactly know how else to put this, but uh, yeah, I think it's uh, time to go back to the drawing board. But we're gonna have to do that next time. I'm Spectral Star. Oh my, Wamo. Kodoku.